The women in the in the Bering Strait, I made up a mythical god because a lot of my paintings have gods. And she isn't wasn't as mythical as I thought. I called her Europa because the name sounded like what but Europa was a goddess in, in Greek mythology, but she wasn't that important. Um, but I wanted some mythical figure to be presented in the painting, uh, telling us a warning about uh, the coming ice age. She's holding two things. On one hand, she's holding a, a pocket watch. So she's holding a pocket watch, and the pocket watch is set at 5 to 12, because we're just at the time when we're going to start an ice age. We've got just a little bit of time. And the painting basically is giving a solution to the Ice Age happening, and that's why it's called the Bering Strait Dyke Fund. In the other hand, she's holding, uh, which represents Europe, she's holding a globe, a snow globe. And there's a Gothic, I wanted something that would represent Europe, and I thought, all these different countries, and how can I represent? I thought, a Gothic cathedral. They're almost all over Europe. Every country you go to has Gothic cathedrals. So I show a Gothic cathedral in a snow globe. So that's what that's about. So she's holding that because that's what's going to happen to Europe. There's going to be the snow globe in Europe, and there's going to be that we have only a short, short amount of time. And the reason it's important is because there are about 450 million people that live in the north, in Europe and in North America, Canada, and, and uh, so they may have to move. If you look at the history of um, climate change over the last 500,000 years, you'll see that it's a very kind of regular, almost looks like a heartbeat. It just goes up and down and up and down. And that each of the high points is warm and each of the bottoms is cold. Each of the bottoms is an ice age. So this has been happening for 500,000 years. Right now we're at a peak of hot. Normally, ice ages start when the Arctic Ocean is free of ice and that there are trees that grow around the Arctic Ocean. And the way that it starts an ice age is that when the Arctic Ocean is frozen, the winds blowing across the Arctic Ocean can't pick up any water. Northern Europe and northern Canada get very little rainfall. They get maybe 10 inches of precipitation a year which is about the same as the Sahara Desert. But because it's frozen for so much of the year, the water stays there and it looks very wet and there's lots of bogs and lakes and stuff like that. But if you put the climate to, um, to be warm, if the climate was warm, you would have uh, the Sahara Desert. So when the Arctic Ocean is free of ice for part of the year, the winds blowing across the Arctic Ocean can pick up water and they'll deposit it on the mountains of Baffin Island and northern Quebec and northern Ontario, but they'll deposit it in much higher quantities than we get today. Now what happens is when the um, ice starts to build up on North America and, and, and Europe, northern Europe, it that gets deposited there, the ocean level drops and drops and drops and drops and drops. Now when it drops low enough, the Bering Strait becomes dry land. Right now it's 300 feet underwater, 300, 350 feet underwater. So what happens is that drops low enough that the water from the Pacific Ocean can't get into the Arctic Ocean. And it's the water from the Pacific Ocean, which is warmer, which basically shoots into the Arctic Ocean and melts the, 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 the ice. So when that gets low enough, it cuts off the ability of the Pacific water to get into the Arctic Ocean and the Arctic Ocean freezes solid all year round again. Then that's the end of the, 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 uh, the, the, the end of the real ice age and the ice will start to retreat at the beginning very slowly but it'll start to re retreat back. That's happened five times with the configuration that we've got of the continents now. So uh, to say when the scientists look at the past 20, 20,000 years or 30,000 years, that's not far enough. Um, because you've, you've got this repetition that you can see in the ocean levels and things like that. So it just keeps going up and down and up and down. There's a church in Montreal called Notre Dame. And Notre Dame is an old church. Unfortunately, half of it burnt down, which was too bad because it was really pretty. But the front part is ethereal. With It starts off as 
as dark blue and then pale or pale, and it's got all these little gold stars painted on everything, and you go in there and it's like, oh yes, I can see God. I mean, it's just, it's really wonderful. It's a really beautiful church. I wanted that feeling with the, with the frame, um, and uh, guys, I wanted it sort of mythical, and, uh, and so that, that's, that's what that, so that's what the frame is about. So I have a little collection box at the bottom, which act, when I have the painting on exhibition, people put money in it. And what I'm collecting for is a dike. So the fun basically to start money for a dike. And now if we build a dike across the Bering Strait, it'll stop the ice age from happening. It'll stop global warming from continuing because the Arctic will get colder and it'll be like, it'll be a, a, like an air conditioner for the, for, the, for the earth. However, we also are going to do a certain amount of damage because what happens is every, in that cycle of a 100,000 year cycle or 80,000 year cycle between warming and cooling that's happened, when we're in an ice age, the Sahara Desert is verdant. It gets rain. And uh, in the um, Middle East that's dry and in Pakistan and India that's dry, those are all verdant and green and, you know, like, much more like paradise. If we don't allow the, the earth to go through an ice age, those areas will stay dry.